Hello, this is Jeff Malone, The X is Silent, here with a review of the November 19th, 2011 episode of Saturday Night Live, hosted by Jason Siegel, with musical guest Florence and the Machine. The opening sketch was a message from the committee to elect Mitt Romney, Mitt Romney raw and unleashed, and the best phrase from that was sex scandals and whoopsie daisies. And this sketch also may have uh, featured what may have been the best Jay Farrow moment on uh, this whole season so far of SNL. That gotta be. And then we had Jason Siegel's monologue. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. Uh, A. And then uh, the uh, Red Flag perfume commercial, which was a repeat from uh, the Alec Baldwin episode. And I'm going to stick with my original grade of B- for that one. Then we did a uh, live with uh, Regis and Kelly uh, auditions to replace Regis. Um, and the best impression here was Fred as George Lopez. I uh, couldn't uh, sit still in that chair and say, <laughs> Uh, so that got a B plus, and then now uh, we did the Kemper Pedic a Me Time mattress, and the best visual there was the doing the worm, and uh, so that got a B plus. And then now uh, we had the uh, Vogel Check Thanksgiving, and this sketch deserves praise mainly for uh, maintaining continuity with uh, the other. Vogel check sketches that got a B minus. Then Florence and the Machine did their first performance of the night. They did uh, Shake It Out. And uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, that was a good one. She smiled a lot. So that, that was fun. Uh, that gets an A. And uh, then we went on to Weekend Update where the audience was laughing. At, uh, certainly they were laughing. Not as much as I did. Or the other way around, actually. I was not laughing as much as the audience was. So uh, Seth, uh, for his portion of update, gets a C-. Then John Huntsman, uh, the real John Huntsman, came on. And that was the best use of New Hampshire in a supporting role in a musical comedy or a haircut. That gets, uh, so John Huntsman got to be. And then we had Really? with Seth and Kermit, and uh, the best part was uh, Kermit's, uh, you know, shaking around doing his, uh, his, uh, his, his Kermit-esque movements, it's like, that gotta be. And then we had the, the retirement party sketch, and uh, thank you for the subtle visual gag of the ever-changing cocktails, uh, that'll get a B- minus for that sketch. And then we had the New Jack Thanksgiving. And yes, please, to Tony, Tony, Tony Shaloub, Boys to Dogs, no longer en vogue. And that face that Fred Armisen made as a member of the HPV Music Factory. Uh, so, New Jack Thanksgiving gets an A-. Then we had a digital short, Seducing Women Through Chess, Loved the 80s style production values. Uh, that one gets a B plus. But what I really like to talk about here is that cameo appearance by Olivia Wilde, which uh, you know, she was there for seemingly no reason at all, uh, which was reminiscent of a cameo appearance from an episode back in I believe it was April of '98 from the Steve Buscemi hosted episode. Steve Buscemi's hosting the next new episode in two weeks, so uh, interestingly coincidental uh, time for a apparently reasonless cameo to occur, because uh, in uh, that Steve Buscemi episode from 1998, there was um, a great sketch, a job interview sketch, where Natasha Henstridge showed up at the end, and was on screen for all of 10 seconds. And um, since then, I don't think there's been a cameo like that up until Olivia Wilde appearing just now, where there seemed to be no reason for it at all. So I loved it. Uh, anyway, then we had Andre the Giant chooses an ice cream flavor. And, and that's that's what that was. 
Jason Siegel did a pretty good impression of him. Uh, B minus. And then Florence and the Machine finished off uh, their sit with No Light, No Light. And that was also a good performance. I gave it a B plus. And then we finished off the night with the Blue Jean Committee. Everyone seemed to show up at the end, so that happened. B minus, maybe. Anyway, overall, the whole episode felt like a party, and that's a good way for an SNL episode to feel. Uh, I think Jason Siegel, uh, oh man, he just, oh, such a natural performer on the SNL stage. Oh, I loved it. I think he was the best host so far this year. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, in two weeks, December 3rd, got the next new episode with Steve Buscemi hosting for the second time ever, and musical guest The Black Keys, a, uh, also appearing for the second time. First time was all the way back in January 2011, so yeah, they, they uh, should be good one. Like that guest lineup. So I'll see you um, in a couple weeks with a review of that one. In the meantime, check out the blog, jmoney.wordpress.com. And um, that's the way it is.